long time no see welcome back to another vlog um i do not know what direction exactly this vlog is going to take but <laughs> i'm kind of out of the um, vlogging headspace and everything um i've been i've been just getting used to the new changes in my life i moved i moved twice in the past one year <laughs> And moving can be so taxing, it can be so like, not annoying, but because I'm moving for for good reasons, but it just can take a lot of your time and energy. And I've not been able to create content the way I'd like to. And to be honest, I just need to be more disciplined with this hobby of mine because I like doing it and I've not been doing it as much as I want. So. Um, today is Sunday. Today is Sunday and I've got something exciting going on this afternoon. I've got <laughs> I've got a swimming class to go to this afternoon. Um, I never really got to s learn how to swim when I was younger. Um, I come from Limuru. The only swimming pool we have is the one in the the one we had was the one in uh, Limuru Country Club and no you didn't have access to it so easily I, i'm sure like now there, there there's another pool along the highway and everything but all that to say i'd never learned how to swim when i was younger so this year it was one of my like resolutions i don't really make like a huge list of resolutions every year but i make some resolutions obviously and i've been able to do quite a number of them on my list this year which i'm really grateful for and this one was a long time coming because and um, so what exactly inspired the lessons this time was my previous visit to Malta I haven't put up that travel vlog yet it's I, I've got a lot of um, content to edit but I will and I will link it somewhere in this video uh, travel to Malta beautiful beautiful um, beaches and the water was just amazing except that I don't know how to swim so I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I as I wanted and I felt so so bad like when people were like diving from the boat and into the water and I just like I was watching because I, I couldn't do it it just it feels like almost a disability at this point <laughs> so I was kind of like um, I, ha I just have to do it it's just one of those things I, I have to do it get it done with so i'm starting from the beginning i'm a complete beginner the only thing i know how to do is float on my back and that's it so today actually in about um two hours i have my first swimming lesson i took i started with a one-on-one -on -one lesson and then hopefully after a few months i can do like um i can join a class or something i was hoping well i don't know how it's gonna go so we'll see um and yeah that's it but before I go, I've got some new makeup to to unbox with you guys. It's been a while since I bought any new makeup actually. The last thing I got was like um this um lip gloss by um Nancy Moy. So this is it. It's really pretty. I like this packaging. It's very simple branding, new level and this is um glass and plastic at the top this is how the brush looks like it's quite thick <laughs> it's I'm not gonna put i usually wear it with um brown lip liner and so far so good it's not sticky at all. It doesn't have that sticky feeling of old school lip glosses. <laughs> and it's not too shiny as well. Like there's a, there's a ring light behind me and it's not like shining bright like a diamond. So I feel like it would make for a good everyday um, gloss. It smells really good. It smells chocolatey and just pleasant, you know? Uh, so that's great I love this new lip gloss that's the only new makeup I've had so far and I ordered um, a foundation and I think <laughs> I think and a pressed powder this foundation 
I ordered it because first of all it's sold out in most uh, shops in Paris so that gives me an indication that it's a good foundation I've never tried it before I got this foundation because I saw it on my friend and I was like what that looks like like your skin but better which is what we want like a foundation to look like right so I was like I have to try it like literally that day we went to the shop uh, I matched it um, to my skin found a match but it was sold out and then through the through through the week I went to like two other shops sold out everywhere so I had to order it online except that it took like uh, a week a whole week to get here normally it takes about three days but anyway finally it's here and I ordered some pressed powder to go with it So I got the liquid skin, liquid skin foundation. I already tried it like in the shop, so I'm really excited to like try it. I on. got the blossoming beauty um foundation, uh, blossoming beauty um perfecting powder. This is a pressed powder. I have like a free loose powder, so I have now I have a fixed powder. I'm going. There you go. There you go. It's got a nice um, glass, um, nice glass um, flacon. How do we say flacon? And it's got a <laughs> dropper with it. This makes it so easy to just like only get a few drops of however much you need. My shade is neutral 145. All right, I just got back from school and we've still got some daylight. So yeah, let's test out some makeup. I'm really excited because, oh, I also picked up a new mascara. I'm gonna show you, it's another Maybelline mascara. So the one I was using was the Maybelline Sky High mascara. Looks like this. And, and the one I've just picked up is the Colossal Big Shot mascara. So I really like Maybelline mascaras. For me, the, price and the value and the quality of them makes sense anything more expensive than this then it just doesn't make sense to me yeah this one is the one i picked up so we're going to test out the foundation the powder and this mascara but first i'm going to wash my face because i've got tiny traces of makeup on i've got some eyeliner already and so i'm going to wash everything off so we can start from the beginning i've just washed my face so let's get straight into the makeup i'm going to use this base the professional by benefits either way i'm going to link everything a tiny bit of that it looks tinted but it's actually not um it melts quite easily into the skin don't forget the neck using this brush um, number three from NYX Cosmetics, my favorite foundation brush. And the famous Kiko Liquid Skin Foundation. Really excited to try this. Neutral number 145. Let's shake it up. Remember always, ah! Oh! I just stained my shirt with foundation. Anyway, always remember it's better to add than to remove. So going in with just uh, literally just two drops and it's already like a lot. I'm actually, I'm not using a mirror so I'm looking into the... <laughs> And I'm trying to go as fast as possible because I don't know if it dries quickly or not. Come on, that's a perfect shade match. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. I think this is the perfect foundation for when you don't want to look like you have foundation on, which is like all the time. Even though, I mean, we don't care. Like if anyone notices that I'm wearing foundation I don't care I'm just going to add a little bit more and see just 
because this looks literally like liquid skin it looks like my skin come on like so let's just do a little bit more i think it let's see if it's buildable so i guess this is my new favorite foundation i know it, it doesn't look like i'm wearing foundation does it i don't think so let's try the compact powder see how that turns out This is definitely the wrong brush for this kind of for this kind of powder, comp compact powder, but I don't have another brush for now, so just gonna set my whole face for now. I do not like perfect looking eyebrows because they just look so plastic, so I always try and like mess them up a little not mess them up, but kind of make them a bit natural looking well that that's too natural that's not what <laughs> what i'm going for but you get the idea i've been using this sephora i've been using this sephora gel brow clear brow gel gel brow clear brow gel <laughs> And so far so good because when it's so hot sometimes your makeup melts but at least they stay intact with this brow gel. I'm going to use this Sephora pocket palette liner. If you're trying out eyeliner for the first time or if you're not really good at eyeliner it's best to start with like a crayon than a liquid eyeliner obviously because this is so much easier to work with yeah it won't go like it won't bleed everywhere and you'll have like more control with your hand because it's just like writing you know okay now let's test the mascara let's open this baby up and test it There we go. Let's see what the brush looks like. It's quite thick. This is supposed to be a voluminizing, voluminizing, voluminizing mascara. So <laughs> I've got like no lashes. So let's try this out. Mm, there you go. <laughs> I like the way they look on this side and the thing with mascara you have to let it dry if you want to do two coats for example you have to let it dry before you do the next coat otherwise it's going to be a mess and you're going to look like a crazy woman so I think I'm happy with this I won't do a second coat I'm not going anywhere tonight so maybe I should have curled the lashes first like for on this side this side is perfect this side not so much uh, i also wish i had contour but now i'm going to just put something on my lips oh wait i'm going to set set mm, my makeup with the benefits professional so this come they they come together both of them and i like using both of them but obviously this works really great like in the morning when you want to spend the whole day outside and no running makeup, but I'm just going to use a little bit for now. Yeah, not so much. I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere tonight. <laughs> for the lips, I'm going to do a light pink, but obviously line my lips first. Uh, I find that brown liner works with almost every lipstick that's that's the that's our foundation tell me what you think i really like it wow it looks almost natural to me i don't know tell me what you think in the comments maybe i'm going crazy but so far so good look at that i didn't even i didn't even put concealer and everything under my eyes 
because I just wanted to see how this would turn out but so far so good thank you so much for watching um yeah I'll catch you on the next video do not forget to share this video don't forget to subscribe and it would be really really nice if you left a comment in the comment section below obviously where else <laughs> yeah and I'll catch you on the next video bye